NATO pursues a 360 degree approach to security. To Europe's east lie Russia and the geopolitical transformations occasioned by the rise of China. To the south are situated what the 2016 Warsaw Summit Declaration referred to as growing challenges and threats emanating from Africa and the Middle East. But NATO's thinking on security goes beyond geographic orientation. According to NATO's 2018 Framework for a Future Alliance Operations, the strategic environment the alliance faces is transnational and at the same time ambiguous, complex and rapidly changing. Here, threats emanate from both state and non-state actors. In the case of unregulated migration, natural disasters and pandemic diseases, the actor is hidden or missing and the traditional tools of deterrence and defence therefore do not apply. To get to grips with this uncertain world, NATO back in 2010 established an Emerging Security Challenges Division to analyse and advise on non-traditional risks and challenges. That body's work has focused, among other things, on counter-terrorism, cyber security, energy supplies, and the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Operationally, the Alliance has articulated a program of long-term military transformation that informs NATO political guidance and the defence planning process. NATO also views working with partners as essential. The recent 2018 NATO-EU agreement, for instance, refers to multiple and evolving security challenges and takes forward joint work on terrorism as well as hybrid and cyber threats. The breadth of NATO's work and the scale of the challenge it faces can be illustrated with three examples. The first, disaster response is of long standing. NATO's cooperation here goes as far back as 1953. More recently, since 1999, the Euro-Atlantic Disaster Response Coordination Centre has organised NATO operations involving both allies and partners working alongside UN and EU agencies. NATO has responded to earthquakes in Turkey, forest fires in Bulgaria and Bosnia, severe winter conditions in Ukraine, floods in Algeria and Albania, humanitarian crisis in Kosovo, and the aftermath of a tsunami in Indonesia. In 2005, NATO answered an American request for assistance in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. Climate change and the increased frequency of severe weather events mean NATO's role in these areas will be of ongoing significance. Secondly, terrorism has been a concern of allies for decades, but a coordinated NATO role only emerged after 9-11. In response to that tragic episode, NATO invoked for the first and only time its collective defence provision, Article 5 of the North Atlantic Treaty. Two of NATO's longest standing missions, the still ongoing presence in Afghanistan and Operation Active Endeavour in the Mediterranean, which ran between 2001 and 2016, indirectly followed from that decision. NATO's approach to countering terrorism is based on intelligence, innovation and partnership. Currently, the NATO training mission in Iraq, participation in the global coalition to defeat ISIS, and the establishment of a NATO hub for the South and Naples, Italy, are part and parcel of this counter-terrorism effort. Such initiatives are complemented by a terrorism intelligence cell set up at NATO headquarters in 2017. Thirdly, migration. In 2015, Europe faced a major crisis as nearly one million migrants and refugees fled conflicts in Syria, Libya, Afghanistan and elsewhere and sought refuge in Europe. The main international response to that crisis came from the EU. NATO for its part mounted a naval surveillance mission in the eastern Mediterranean to assist Turkey in combating illegal people smuggling. While not directly addressing the humanitarian crisis itself, this proved an important episode in NATO-EU cooperation. NATO also provided a bridge of communication between two allies, Greece and Turkey, severely impacted by the crisis. Overall then, 
NATO has undertaken a significant strategic reorientation. That process has proven difficult for alliance cohesion. Allies as a whole no longer think in terms of a common existential threat, something that proved to be a powerful unifying factor in the Cold War. However, there's also a much wider range of threats that we face. We've all lived through the terrible threats that come from extremism and terrorism. There are changes to the world's climate, which are creating insecurity. And there is conflict uh, around the world. Deploying to new strategic priorities has also tested NATO's operational capabilities to the limit. But, however difficult, this reorientation toward emerging security challenges has helped keep NATO relevant.